Absolutely. Um, there's a beautiful painting behind you, but before we talk about that, um, why don't? When did you come to Hawaii? 1981. Uh, was August there a 6th. Was there a particular reason? Oh, uh, did, did I say that it's April 30th, 2014? You're leaving for the mainland the day after tomorrow. So you got here August 6th, 1981? Bought a one-way ticket. Did the same thing I'm doing now, actually. I sold everything I owned, bought a one-way ticket, and went to a brand new home. I was living in Sacramento at the time, so I'd spent the first third of my life in Sacramento, the second third of my life in Hawaii, and now beginning the third third of my life, or half of my life, in Santa Barbara. So why are you leaving Hawaii? Did you like it here? You've done a lot of great it's art. It's wonderful. Um, Hawaii, I, w I was raised with the Eberhardt dream of uh, going back to Hawaii after a vacation here in 1963, I think it was, 61. You were a little, that, little that kid. My parents came and always wanted to go back. So, um, and uh, I, um, it was the Eberhardt dream. And so I fulfilled it in 1981 by myself. Uh, and uh, I just got their dreams worth out of it. I, it was great, it wasn't bad. Had beautiful children, had wonderful life experiences, and uh, the kids are grown. And I'm looking around just thinking, um, what else? I've learned an awful lot here, and I just kind of feel like I, I, I need something, a new environment to continue learning and growing with my art. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Um, when did you paint the painting that's behind you? Celebration. I painted that, what is it, five years ago maybe? So that would have been... I, I really don't know what year it was. I do know that it was at Christmas time, and that's how it got its name, Celebration. It reminded me of a couple of um, girls with their pretty dresses flying and dancing around and celebrating, and it was Christmas time. So it reminded me of the song, Don, We Now Are Gay Apparel, mm -hmm. but I didn't really want to call it Gay Apparel. <laughs> So I called it Celebration, but that's what it is, and that's why Jane calls it her girls. She says when she passes it and, and uh, sees it, she always says, hello girls. Those are her girls. So let me get a little bit of a close-up on there. I love it. I've always loved it a lot, and I'm really glad that it's got a good home with Jane Henricks. Okay, and we're going to move to the next room shortly. So, <laughs> so this is the next room. This is Jane's office and our little reading cubbyhole. And the first painting we bought from you, Barbara, and it had to be 2002, is Three Friends. Is that correct? Three Amigos. Three Amigos. Uh, is no, that 2002? What? 2002. We had just moved into this house. Four, 12 years ago. Yeah. Three well, Amigos. Do you want to say anything about it? I like it. I think it's pretty. It looks like three friends. And it was just a, um, three orchids together. Uh, I really liked the composition. I really liked the feeling of it. And after it was painted, I just liked the camaraderie of the three together. And evidently you felt that same way because it's now hanging in your home. I, I, like I, I knew when I saw it, it was great. Thank you. I like it too. And the I, one... The one to its left, we saw that first Friday in downtown Honolulu. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the name of that? That is a water lily. Um, you might have to look on the back. If I, I might have to. Um, can we back up for just a second? Sure. The, the, or, the, fa the painting we saw of Jane's uh, celebration and this one here, Amigas, um, the reason I moved to Hawaii in 81 is because I found myself painting orchids all the time. I even have a book, I still have it, from Sacramento State um, Library uh, on orchids. I just loved orchids. So um, the fact that that's the beginning of your collection is, is no coincidence. This orchids brought me to this island. Um, I don't do beach scenes. I'm not into uh, um, uh, tropical, what do they call that? Um, 
seem to be, but I like orchids. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah, I was going to say, you do a lot of uh, orchids and water lilies and other tropical flowers. Mm -hmm. I like flowers. Uh -huh. I don't do seaweed. So you've got Unless the, it's with uh, orchids. The water lily above and then it's a recent water lily directly Splendor, I think it's called. Splendor. Splendor. Because that's what it feels like. It took forever to do those inside yellow things, but um, I like the look of it. I like taking a long time, if that's what it takes, to create something that's uh, perfect. And I'm glad it's here too in your collection. There's one directly behind you. There you go. The one from our uh, koi pond. I like this a lot. And the reason I like it is the way the water looks. I love the water. I love this. It's real soft. I love the softness of it. Um, it's called uh, Look Within because you can kind of look into as we all are supposed to be looking within as we go through life. Um, but I love the way the water looks around it too and I've never done that. Uh, that's fun. Uh, by the way, another really important thing to say about my work is the blended technique that I was taught originally back in college um, where everything is blended, uh, even the backgrounds and the foregrounds, so everything is there's no two pieces of color that go together and are not blended down the middle um, until I got into my a really new technique. So um, that's why everyone, this one in particular, um, asks if it's um, airbrushed because it has a very blended technique. Now the ones on your left, or my left... This is another example of very blended. This painting, Trinity, because there's three watercolor... You see, I like... I like water lilies and orchids. Wow, here we go, a water lily and orchid in this whole place. And I went through a um, shower tree phase, which <laughs> I have a lot of shower trees. Um, I guess I, I know what I like. Um, but this one took, this painting took um, at least a month, and I do paint eight hours a day. I paint as much as anyone on a regular job. And so a month of, of uh, working on that, it just took forever. And everyone who has ever seen it asks, is that airbrush? So that's I, called Trinity? It's called Trinity because there's three. And the one above it? That's Duet. There's two together. Again, that's Orchid, but it's um, Lady Slipper Orchid. I grew those flowers. I put them together. I photographed them. I made all kinds of variations on that. Usually, I, I paint from photos all photos that I myself take. So, and, and even grow the flowers. So, you name it, I do it. <laughs> um, but that's what that is, and uh, uh, Lady Slippers is called Duet. Were they painted different. about the same time? No, 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 no. This is, um, oh gosh, a good eight years ago, and this is uh, this past year. Okay, yeah, they're beautiful. beautiful. Okay, I'm going to swing around, and then we'll talk about some of these others. So now we're looking at the other side of the room. And we can see two, a very small one behind Barbara and a very large one directly in front. Well, what we're looking at is, um, <laughs> I had just said, I like orchids and I like water lilies and I like shower trees. This is a four by four foot shower tree. And, um, and I did a, 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 a series at the time. Uh, this is the largest of the series. And I love the idea of, if you know, on a summer day laying on the ground and how a shower tree above you and it, it glistens, how the sun comes through it and you, it just glistens and it kind of moves and sways in the, in the wind. And I love that feeling and I tried to capture that by having the shower tree sprig fill up the whole plane, the whole picture plane. So, um, and I did it in my nice soft blended style and it took so long to do. <laughs> I just do love the look of just oh, an abundance of shower petals sprinkling all over me. Um, and a different kind of a feel here is with this hibiscus, that's one small thing where you kind of just look closely and you see the beautiful hibiscus. I love this too. I love the bright yellow. Um, I like the brightness of the yellow juxtaposed with this uh, burgundy, um, alizarin crimson there, so um, this was kind of fun. And I was just beginning to 
So you see how the real blended section, everything's really blended. And in back here, there's a little bit of zigzag. Um, one of my teachers did that once upon a time, well, back when he was teaching us. Everybody said that it looked like, uh, like um, airbrush. And so he said he would leave some areas zigzag and not completely finished being blended. So that it was his way of saying, look, it is done with the oil paint, with the brush, carefully, painstakingly, and it's not airbrushed. So I did the same thing in the background here. And uh, I bet you never knew that, John. That that's I, I did notice that. Mm -hmm. That's why. It was, it was on purpose, just for fun. Otherwise, hey. like this and many of the other ones, every bit of it is blended. And, every, and it, it looks like it could be airbrushed. But every now and then, and I did that because Gary Pooner, that was uh, really who taught me at American River College once upon a time um, how to paint like that. My college, by the way, I went to CSUS, California State University, Sacramento. That's where I began. That's where I graduated from. And in the meantime, in between, I went to two semesters. Someone told me, Craig Chiquiso said, um, go over and take some art from Gary Pooner at American River, and I would learn this kind of technique. And I learned so much from CSUS, but I also learned a lot from Gary Pooner. So um, thank God for all the teachers that I've had. Uh, at Bill Allen, Carlos Villa, Joseph Raphael um, from CSUS. Uh, I learned a lot from a lot of people. And I've learned, and you continue to learn all mm -hmm. the time. So down the stairs we have one painting hanging over the stairs. Do you want to lead down there? Let's go. Okay. <laughs>